since we now have our chart, basically have our chart and stuff. So the combo box, so let's just show you what that does. What's the combo box? You have to have the developer tab, you go to the developer tab, and then uh, just go to the developer tab, then under insert, you basically see something called form controls and ActiveX controls. Now, developer is where, uh, what houses VBA. VBA is a different application that works with Excel and works with Word, PowerPoint and the rest. And this form controls actually work directly with native Excel. When I say native Excel, I mean Excel itself, this Excel. And uh, ActiveX is basically VBA. It's just so mainly when we're working with Excel, you just think about form controls. The second box here is actually combo box. That's what we're looking for. So I click this and I drag. Once I click it, I drag. Now this is your combo box. Now combo box is actually foreign to Excel, right? When you talk about Excel, you talk about cells. Excel basically works with cells. Things go into cells. Now everything else you see that is not in a cell is something, I just call it a tool that works with Excel. This chart itself is just a tool that works with Excel. And whenever you have tools that work with Excel, you need to know the language that they speak. You need to understand what language this chart speaks with Excel. If I go to insert, for example, and take a shape, any shape at all, and I draw this shape here, this shape is another tool that works with Excel. So if I click on the uh, shape, you could see that it has drawing tools. You click on the chart, it basically has chart tools. So, and then this um, combo box, if I right click it, this combo box is, well, it's it's kind of different. It's it's a pretty foreign foreign tool, so to say. So how do you make it work with Excel? How combo boxes work with Excel is you need to define two things. You need to define a list and a switch. The best way is you define a list and a switch. And best practice is you name the list and you name the switch. Okay, so if I come to Excel, remember that this cell kind of acted as our switch. Why? Because once we uh, change it to seven, it kind of switches our data up. So seven is the bial size, the seventh row. If I come down here, I say one, uh, one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah? So for these combo box, what we need to do is instead of someone typing seven in here, we want a list of all the states inside this box. And when we pick a state, it changes the chart. So technically, when we pick a state, to obtain change this switch. As I said, we need a list and a switch. We already have a switch, this cell. Let's uh, just call it yellow before, I call it yellow. And uh, so let's find our list. Our list is the states. So I click from here all the way down, and I basically give it a name. So this is, let's call this one our list, yeah? We just call it a list. So this is our list, all right? And this is our, switch so we have everything we need for a combo box right click the box go to format control and then under input range just read that as list input range is list so you type list you know we named it list okay it's not cap sensitive your cell link is your switch we named it switch so we named it switch uh, so we have a list and a switch click ok a reference is not valid. Okay, switch. What did we call? Did we call it switch? Uh, let's cancel. Let me check what I called it. Okay, I haven't named it. Okay, it wasn't named, so let's quickly call it switch. Okay, we have a list and a switch now. So right click, format. Our input range is our list, and our cell link is our switch. Oops, yeah, switch. Click OK. Now, if you click out, you click on the drop down and then you see that. Now, if I pick Adamawa, Adamawa is saying uh, it's uh, two. Is it really two? Let's check. Can you see there's a problem here? I've picked Adamawa and I'm seeing Abia. Yeah. What's the issue? The issue is basically Adamawa on our list here. Adamawa is number two. But really, if you come here, you're starting from here. This is one and this is two. So it's not counting exactly right. It's starting the count from here, but our list starts from here. It's very easy to solve that problem. You can come into ABF, for example, here. And if you remember the index, if I check my index. So my index basically has um, my array, which is looking from 37. And then my row number is my switch, which is two. But technically, I need to add one to that list, plus one. 
One is not hard coding here because it never changes permanent. So click OK. And that fixes that problem. So if I come here, say Adamawa, come here, change it to Abia. It's one, but it's adding one to it. Oh, Abia it seems very strange, doesn't it? Abia, let's check. So something is up here. Abia is that very low. What happened to Abia? Now, obviously, something else is going on here. We need to update this as well. So if you look at this, this table is also using the switch, so we need to also update that. This should be plus one as well. It's a good thing this happened, so you can see the kind of issues you could have. Yeah, we had to do the plus one, plus one. All right. So now everything is fine. Everything works fine. Cross river. Everything works fine. Good. So that is what a combo box does. Kind of makes things look nice. So you could actually bring the combo box into your chart like this. Yep. Or maybe down here a bit. And someone can use your chart like that. But let's do something even better. Let's create a list box. A list box to me, I think, will look better here. So come to same place. Uh, this was combo box. The so the second to the last one is the list box and the list box is a bit different this is how we're going to draw it we draw it like this and we're going to now fill this out with the same thing it needs a list and a switch we have a list and a switch yep now we click ok and it fills it all out with your list and switch and all we need to do now is select and it works now, this is almost like kind of similar to creating a dashboard, isn't it? So it now looks pretty neat as you're clicking, it's changing the data. And how it's working is this box is talking to Excel through this switch cell. Yeah, as you change this, it changes this switch. If I come to this switch and type eight, guess what? If you look in here when I enter, it's controlling. So they're controlling each other. And that's how you use lists and switches. Thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.